the 2-4 and four Chicago Tech Crocodiles coming off a pretty close loss against the number 5 ranked Kentucky Wildcats are set to take on the Coastal Carolina Shauna Clears. There's Rashad Pickney starting this game off with a pull-up 3-7-0 lead. Coastal Carolina finally on the board with a layup from Devin Henry. 9-2, here comes the Crocs going coast-to-coast. Coast. And Elijah Smith going upstairs where Grandma hides the cookies, putting that defender on a poster. What a start for the Crocs as Rusu is tied up. And the Shauna Clears lose the ball. However, it ends in the hands of Devin Henry, who nails the three-pointer. And then Riley Russo with the layup, cutting the lead in half. Now 11-9. Here comes the Crocodiles going coast-to-coast. Coast. Elijah Smith, not known as a jump shooter, but he does nail the three. 18-13. And then Walton Banks has more time than someone waiting in McDonald's drive through He gets the three-pointer. 21-13. Now the senior, Zachary Seals. Gets the and one. What a start offensively today for the Chicago Tech Crocodiles. As there's Devin Henry with the three. He's been Coastal Carolina's really only source of offense today. And then you got to learn by reading the Booker. Aaron Booker for three. And then an and one dunk for Devin Henry. As the shot clears are coming back pretty quickly. Now it is just a one-point game off of the and one and the three throw for Henry. Now Coastal Carolina is up. There's for freshman Jake Jackson. No good. Ronald Clemens with the board. Over to Mahmoud Abdul-Wahad. He will find Quantavius October, who's no good. Clemens with the board to Mahmoud Abdul-Wahad for three. The junior. Nice shot right there. Now it's just a one-point game. Ronald Clemens with the block. Here comes Chicago Tech. Rashad Pickney for three. And it is good. And the Crocodiles would regain the lead, 36-40. to 40. Nice mid-ranger danger for Devin Henry. As here comes the Crocs. Here's Walton Banks, the second, the freshman, with the layup. Three-point game now in the corner. There is Elijah Smith. He's going to go off balance, but he still nails the three. And then next possession, Walton Banks for three. And just like that, the Chicago Tech Crocodiles are right back up. As Coastal Carolina trying to get on the board, they get their own board. And then here's Aaron Booker for three to tie it up with eight seconds left here in the half. Now let's go second half. The drive, no good. Ronald Clemens with the board back to Elijah Smith. Smith pump fake, and he nails the contested layup, tying this game up. Now it's 52-50. Aaron Booker with it. Booker contested as he was smothered like a blanket, but he nailed that one. It's just a one-point game now. As there is Kadeem Abdu with the layup, 56-57. Devin Henry trapped. Henry has to get it to Booker, who will find Casey Lockett for three in the corner. Corner pocket, bang, bang, bang. And then a contested layup right there for, I'm pretty sure, Aaron Booker. As there's Walton Banks making this game a little bit closer, 61-62. Tipped and stolen like a robber in crime. That was Nate Brown with the initial contact. And then Brown with the and one. And the Crocs once again regain the lead. Nice play right there from Brown who's been very impressive this season, 64-62. Jake Jackson step back, splash. The cousin or brother, he's related to us like linebacker Owen Jackson. Not entirely sure how they're related as a three for Lockett, but then Chicago Tech would answer right back. Five-point game. Now one-point game. There's Jake Jackson beating out the shot clock. What a shot right there from Jake Jackson. And the Crocodiles take a four-point lead. However, a big three right there for Casey Lockett, making it a one-point game. 84-80 to 80 now. Walton Banks over to his high school teammate, Elijah Smith. No good. Rebounded by Ronald Clemens, cleaning the glass and hitting the layup. Crocodile starting to run away with it. You can't spell intercepted without the D. Ronald Clemens with the interception. And the Crocs are playing hot potato before it lands in the hands of Elijah Smith, who hits the layup. There's Riley Russo with a big three, cutting the lead in half. Now just a three-point game, one possession deficit. Can Chicago Tech get a bucket? And the answer is yes. As Rashad Pickney showing off the hops. He gets that slammer. And then Pickney with the steal. Opposite end now. Pickney on the drive. He's going to find Zachary Seals. 
with the layup. Or no, that's Elijah Smith. Sorry, Elijah Smith hits the layup. Then Ronald Clemens forces the turnover, but Vashana clears get it right back, and it's a five-point game. Layup no good from Pickney. Clemens with the board. Clemens, reverse layup, good. Big bucket for the Crocodiles. And that's pretty much how this one will end. 98-90 to is your score. Obviously, since it's a Chicago Tech game, lots of scoring, not much defense. That's what you get with this team. Now they're 3-4, and going to be taking on the IUPUI Jaguars. Same starting lineup, of course, for the Crocs, who will be wearing their alternate jerseys in this game. They are green with a design of other colors, and they have crocodiles in black on the front, as there is Demarius Horn. No good. Horn again. Blocked. Transaction denied. But then third time's for Charm as he gets the shot. Big game for Horn. 8-2. Here's Zachary Seals. Sealing in the tray ball. Eight, it's now a three-point game. Rashad Pickney with the reverse layup. And Chicago Tech trying to avenge that slow start. As IUPUI on the inbound. Here's Randall Peterson for three. Nice shot right there. 11-15. to 15. Zachary Seals with the tough layup. Or not to the big man, Ronald Clemens, my bad. 13-15. to 15. That one from Johnny Baker is good. Now it's a two-point game, 15-17. Peterson over to Baker, going upstairs where Grandma hides the cookies. Nice dunk right there from Baker. As on the drive is Demarius Horn, who gets the layup. Now, later in the game, what a block from, I believe, Jake Jackson of all people. But the Jaguars get it back and are able to put it in as the Crocs force a turnover going coast-to-coast, -coast, corner pocket for Rashad Pickney. The former Loyola Chicago Rambler, who of course hit the buzzer beater in the round of 32 last year to beat Michigan as Demarius Horn. He's going to back it up, and he's going to splash it in. 22-29, Quantavius October, the former Rhode Island football player, gets his own rebound and puts it back in as it's a five-point game. Here is the IUPUI Jaguars as a block for October. Johnny Baker's three is no good. However, Horn gets the rebound and the putback. Zachary Seals called for goaltending as Chicago Tech forces a turnover. Here's Zachary Seals for Rashad Pickney. Nice execution right there on the fast break by Chicago Tech. 27-33. Banks for Pickney for three, and it's good. As Chicago Tech trying to figure out a way how those two can play together since they are both point guards. As Randall Peterson, one hand for safety. What a jam for him. And he would have some more dunks later in the game. So there's Walton Banks, the second, making it an eight-point game off of the three-pointer. And then not too much longer later, Banks, right at the end of the half, drills a three. Seven-point game to start the second half. It's Demarius Horn for three. Telling Banks what you can do, I can do better. Now Chicago Tech on the inbound. Catch and shoot. As Rashad Pickney hits the three of his own. 45-54 is your score. Nice layup right there for Elijah Seals, the freshman. And then Pickney with a one-handed slam at Jamma. What a play right there is Johnny Baker over to Ty Claxton or Claxton, sorry, who gets the layup. 51-58, Claxton finds Demarius Horn showing off the power. Or that's not Horn, that's Josiah Lamb with the dunk. And then Randall Peterson with a dunk of his own. 10-point IUPUI lead here. Walton Banks at the buzzer. Shot clock, cheese. And it is a five-point game. About six minutes to go, Mahmoud abdul Wahad has more time than someone waiting in a Burger King drive through But a nice three right there for Randall Petter Peterson, making it a six-point game. Now a seven-point game as Demarius Horn hits the layup over Ronald Clemens, 71-80. There's Johnny Baker now with the layup. IUPUI running away with it, but a huge three for the Crocs, keeping them alive. And then Mahmoud abdul Wahad gets a three. Now it's just a five-point game. Crocs still in it, but a beautiful dunk right there. For the Jaguars, 80 to or 84 to 77, uh, Mahmoud Abdul Wahad misses the jumper, rebound, and put back from Seals is no good. Clemens gets it back. Clemens finds Zachary Seals, and third time is the charm as Seals hits the mid range shot. 79 84 in the corner as Abdul Wahad for three, and the Crocodiles have trimmed this lead to two.
82-85. Big free throw for Demarius Horn. He drills it. So now it's a four-point game, but Rashad Pickney immediately splashes a three-pointer. One-point game, and then Zachary Seals, no good. Clemens with the putback, or... That's Elijah Seals with a rebound over to Clemens, over to Pickney, no good. Clemens gets it back to Mahmoud Abdul-Wahad for three, and Chicago Tech takes the lead with 43 seconds left. And then very next possession, Rashad Pickney hits the three, 93-88. Quick three from Demarius Horn, making it a two-point game. However, Rashad Pickney would throw it out of bounds, so IUPUI still has a chance with 1.5 seconds left. Horn at the buzzer, no good, and Chicago Tech comes back. What a win for them as they will now improve to 4-4 four and four after winning 93-91. Hey, hey, man.